Hello there everyone, my name is Zay Red, and welcome back, and welcome back to Devil May Cry 4. Today we're going to be continuing with Mission 6, Resurrection. Alright. Oh god, I just realized I should have bought some stuff. Ugh. Oh well. First things first, I just saw this. Alright, sweet. I think that if you actually can't fill it up to both health bars by doing by either finding every single orb, or if you're lazy, you could buy the extra orbs needed in you can actually buy the extras in whatever it's called. In the PlayStation Store, or Xbox Store, or whatever the Xbox version is called. Oh, am I powerful enough to do this yet? Nope. All right. And now here's an enemy that's rarely used, but is honestly very annoying. Damn it. You know, here's another thing. That dude wants Nero out of his facility. Well then, why don't you just find a way to lift the bridge up? Nero's job is to capture Dante, and honestly, if you just lifted the bridge up for him, he could have he could have been already out of here. All right. I recommend just trying your best to grab them or shoot them to slow them down. Come on. Because that's all you really have to do. Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna lie, that was actually really cool. Oh, come on. He was literally right next to me. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. All right, come down here. Okay, at least he listened. Okay, I know partially a good part of the reason why he's actually hitting me is because I'm not really. Oh man, I caught him in midair this time. Huh, <sighs> great. You know, in all honesty, I probably should just use the holy water to nuke them, but. I'm not going to because holy waters cost a lot later on. Holy waters are holy waters. I think every single item you get in like part of this you can get in in the store. And actually, I think that's the same with every other Democrat game. Wait, could you buy? Yeah, you could buy gold orbs. So yeah, that actually is true with every single one. Oh yeah, that does remind me. Another just thing with gold orbs that if you I think that in the first game, if you did like all the missions and stuff and died, you could use a gold order to revive yourself and it would still count. But except for one mission, which was actually very difficult at the start of the game. But first this. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I hate this part. I hate this with an utter passion. There's supposed to be a trick to helping you do this, but I don't do it. I never done it correctly. So I'm just gonna wing it. And this is the reason why you're getting two videos today, because this one's gonna be more than long enough to make up for how long that other one was. Oh yeah, red spaces are... Red spaces are a challenge or an enemy. And this one just run, that's all you gotta do. This is really all you have to do. Just do this for uh, until the time runs down. Oh yeah, here's another thing. While here, you can actually run into the boss. I think that may be on higher difficulties, but you can actually run to the boss if you're in here. Actually freaked me out the first time that happened. Cause I'm not even gonna lie, I was not expecting that. But I'm going to try out the trick that people keep saying to do. I have to get the number you want. 
let's see, I want to go for six. They said that after that number appears, just try that one. I think this one gives you orbs. Yeah, it does. Unfortunately, I don't have to get more orbs ability yet, so it won't do what I want it to. Ah. And I think the white spaces will either will send you like to a certain space. Like this one will send you here, landing on advice. However, you land on this one, it'll send you back. That plus, I do know we have a boss to fight this part. Either I think. Okay, no, I'm thinking of another space. No, that's what the. I think that might be what the yellow spaces do. Something like that. I apologize. It's been a while since I've actually wanted to do this. I am seeming to get pretty lucky more than usual. I don't lie. This actually is pretty good for once. Huh. Okay, time for another battle. Why? Okay, to, I can't even be really be mad at this one. I keep skipping these guys so much that this was bound to happen. Crap, I do know. I think I've already shown off what I can aim them at another enemy. No, you don't. <laughs> Thought he could hit me. Right. No, you don't. Wow, I'm having really good luck against these guys today. And that's the last of them. All right, let's see who's next. Okay, let's see what's up next. Okay, who's up? Okay, I like this better. Crap, I need to get the speed upgrade. Because doing, because I usually get a thing early on and not having it feels weird actually no, I think in this room there actually is one of those little thing I mean I think there is one of those little um, upgrades so I might use it but I might use it here all right Where am I going to? You know, I would be more, I would be more upset with. Okay, this one again, really. Okay, considering how bad of luck I usually have with this, I'm not even angry. I'm just shocked. I'm got, I'm getting this good of luck with it. Because ninety percent of the time, it's used that something bad would happen. All right. Oh, so that's that. I was just curious to see how much damage they do because I've never been hit by it. Watch me get a one just because of that. I was joking! Alright, who am I fighting now? Okay, I can deal with fighting you guys. Because I'm halfway tempted to just use the holy water here. But I kind of want to use it on the boss because I think that there is a boss in this stage. I'm not entirely sure that might be the next one. All right. No, you don't.
Yeah, no. Come here. Okay, I want to shut up before something happens. Because, man, was I not expecting that. Alright. But well, before we head in there... Let's see, here it is. Because I don't think I have enough to get us. I'm going to see if I have enough to get something real quick. Oh no, I already have speed. Huh, doesn't seem like I'm that much faster. Oh yeah, enemy step is something I can't really do that well, so I might as well mention it here. But I do need to, I'm getting this because I need it. Let's see here. Oh yeah, you can also buy extra health pieces. I've actually bought in four. You can buy, I can buy up to two more, but I'm gonna wait. Gold orbs, you only have three in this game, where I think you have up to 99 and three. Holy waters, you have up to 30. You know what? I'm gonna buy this, and you might wonder I'm not getting health. That's because I already have two of these and four of these. So there's no way these bosses should really cause me to get a game over. Okay, now then. Let's go ahead and get through this. I hate this boss. I mean, I absolutely hate this boss. Though, to be fair, Nero does have the easiest time against it. No, I'd say Lady does too. Honestly, I think Virgil has. I think Virgil's given the, pretty much a short stick in this entire game. Oh. So, you've come. Yeah, no, if you put the bridge down, I wouldn't be down here. Who the hell are you? I am Magnus. Working in secrecy, <laughs> very few are privy to my existence. Funny, to figure an order official out for a stroll in a hellhole kind of place like this. Hellhole? What your words? Well, this place is crawling with demons, so he's not yes. wrong. With the new ones concerning your demise. Don't you think that's a little harsh? Killing me because of the way I t -t 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 talk. <laughs> Great. Huh, it's a prototype pawn edge. More demons. No, he just ordered to follow Dante. You mean the man that killed his holiness? What the hell's going on here? I don't have to answer to you, for you are already as good as dead. I beg to differ. Okay, Ria. Okay, here's what you need to do if you're Nero. Okay, not that. This. If I can grab one of them, just keep stab, just keep sending the swords there. That's all you really have to do. You can also use to hit the other swords too, which is actually pretty useful. You can also ah oh crap, I forget. But this is how easy this boss can be. I'm trying not to get electrocuted here. Okay, good. I think that's actually the first time I've ever avoided that, too. Oh, 
Wait, did one of them just go through the... Okay, there we go. Because I think if you don't aim, they'll just aim at another enemy. I don't care about ranking in this battle. I only care about killing him. Because after this, this battle is only worth it because of the fact that... Because of what you get after you're done with it. That plus I'm trying my best not to use any of the items. Yes, it's Quito's fault that I couldn't have just gone to the bridge and get through this. I'm sorry, this is as much your fault as it... I'm sorry, you, you're just as much of an idiot as the gods are in God of War. Because all you gotta do is lit up a bridge and Nero would have been on his way. Speaking of which, that is the game I'm doing next, God of War. How can it be? Look who's talking, jackass. Answer my question. What the hell's going on here? How profound. It's magnificent. Okay, did you even hear me? If you want answers, then I shall give them to you. It has only been a few years since I began this research. Could we isolate and bind demonic power? It could enable us to conquer the world. And that, that is the wish of his holiness. What a crock. And you may as well ditch the efforts, pal, because his holiness is dead. Ah, but his holiness has been reborn as an angel. An angel. And soon, soon, so shall. Jeez. You know, those things are usually loud. How did Nero not hear that? See, but just a small fraction of my research has yielded. Look how beautiful this white armor stands. You have no idea the hardship to make just one armor come to life. I had to capture and control countless demons to harness their souls. Summoning them alone was almost an insurmountable task. Summoning? So was you who made the gate. Yes, yes, the hell gate. Was just turned into something lame in the reboot. As a reference, as then again, I think so does Nero's weapon. Gate. Jeez. Never. Take him out. Huh. Alright, now then, I would like to bring up a topic of Devil Triggers. I would, I mean, a, a, a Devil Trigger mode, pretty much. Because, in my opinion, Devil Trigger modes, depending on what you, I mean, what you aspire like, in my opinion. 
because Dante and I mean Dante and Virgil's double trigger turned them completely into their mode, which I kind of did like, but kind of did like because they're my power and stuff like that. With Nero's, I think of only one thing, JoJo, and you're about to see why. I don't know why, but it always reminded me of a stand from JoJo. In fact, so much I used to draw parallels between Nero and I mean between um Nero and Jorno from Bento Reo. I don't know, I because after because even with um one of his moves, I mean um one of Virgil's moves you'll see later on this game whenever I get to his campaign. I always end up shouting the world though because of the fact that it looks like something that um Dio would do. Freeze time or to like utterly destroy his enemy. Yes, like me, he knows that the guy you're fighting is an idiot. Seriously, you had everything you needed to stop Nero from coming here, and yet you completely avoided it. This guy is a complete idiot and deserves what he's going to get later. But anyway, Devil Trigger Mode. Again, just in my opinion, this one is like a stand from JoJo. Well, whenever you use it to attack anyway, because you see that... Actually, it does bring a question. Do those people not with demon, with the demonic energy or and them see it? Would it behave like a stand? It was even though we can't physically see um, Yamato on him unless he's in that mode. So let me get this straight. The place that so let me get straight. That bridge was up. He pro Nero would have never found out about the again. Nero never found out about this place if that bridge was up. His research would have never been discovered, and he would have gone on his way to kill Dante. And that frog, that frog will probably still be there, and everything will probably be better for the order. And Nero would have known nothing. So if this guy was an idiot, they would. I mean, the villains would have won. Is either Danto or Nero to gain Yamato? Come on. No, you don't. Oh, yeah. Crap, I exited wasted. I'm trying to build up Devil Trigger mode right now so I can show off. I mean, so I can show off one things you can do in it. Crap, I actually need to be filled up. It's so small right now that it has to be filled up and it takes it a little bit of time. But I think with the more you attack, the faster it'll fill up. Okay, here we go. Still not? What in the world? Okay, here we go. You do an extra attack with it whenever you like that. And I think that unlike the... I think unlike your health, you can't buy any of the orbs 
like regularly like throughout the stages you have to actually find them i mean you actually have to go to like the shop and buy it all right that plus have to prepare that wasn't going to continue to cheese these guys because i think we're only about two stages away from when we actually get the hard variant of these guys all right Oh yeah, another thing about Devil Trigger Mode is that it can heal you. Actually, to be fair, one of the other things that I mentioned when I was talking about how that compares this to JoJo is the fact that there's actually a very good theory out there saying that this is the son of um, Vir I mean, that this is the son of Virgil. In my opinion, it does make sense, especially if you look at some, I mean, some of the abilities that I'll show off later with um his Devil Trigger, because one of his is actually summoning swords, kind of. And they're kind of like the ones that Virgil summons. I mean, they look similar to um, Virgil's swords. The devil trigger you see on him is actually Virgil's shadow. I think there is a cutscene with when we complete Virgil's story that'll show that off too. It's actually pretty interesting. Especially though, I actually did get introduced to, I mean, cause I actually, I think before last year, I actually didn't play Devil May Cry 4. Then I fell absolutely in love with it because I remember one of the first videos I was going to do for the channel was going to be like a top 10 of the games that I played throughout the year, which was actually going to be games from previous years because I didn't have a job until very recently and didn't have any way to make money. So I kind of had to only get games whenever I could. And I got this one at the very beginning of the year. I mean, the very beginning of last year, actually. Well, all the Devil May Cry games. Which actually did kind of make me laugh a good bit because the first time I went to go and get Devil May Cry 4 cost me 21 bucks. I had to return it so I could get the Metal Gear game. I mean, all the Metal Gear games on PS3. Beating all of them except for Peace Walker because I really am taking the time to play it. And got through it. And... And I also got this at the exact same time, um, on a later date. I got this for again for four bucks. I later returned it again this year when I got this version digitally. Actually, is there a physical copy of this game? I've actually never been able to find one. Well, I mean the PS4 version. I know there's. I know for a fact there's a physical copy of the PS3 version, but I've never seen a physical copy of the PS4 one. Oh, and here's something else about there's one other thing that bothers me about this game why is it that it is the deluxe edition but yet we still have to pay for like the super modes and stuff like that now i would like it better if they handled it the same way they did back in devil may cry 3 where everything you had was already unlocked i mean where you just had to unlock everything you can play multiple files to do it in different ways. Which is actually what I was doing on Devil May Cry 3 before my controls decided that nope. Huh. I'm not even going to waste my time on these guys. I hate them that much. I do think that they, w they do follow you. I remember that because they're actually pretty fast. Alright. I'll see if I can get this. Yep. No, the only thing is I for some reason I can't I can never get that with Virgil. Okay, who put that back? It was just timed. I think we're, I think we're entering the, ne I mean, the end of the stage because after this, okay, real quick question here: How long was, how long was that transition for Nero? Because 
well, we're in a completely different place now. Like, this place doesn't even look remotely similar. Kid, this is gonna have to wait. You know, there actually is one thing that does bother me about Dante in this game, and that's because why is he so cheerful? No, because I don't, and I don't mean that as a bad thing, I mean that as how come he's so cheerful nowadays in this game? Because this game takes place after Del May Cry 2 and 1, where he was a where he pretty much was kind of depressed, which I don't blame him because, well, brother was kind of dead and blood was on his hands. But in this game, he's all cheerful again. Not that I don't, again, not that I don't like that. It's just that it seems kind of weird in my opinion. But anyway, I thank you all for sticking, me for sticking with me once again. This has been Zayred, everyone, and until next time.